Birdie. So this is a Minecraft world I made in the past two days. First off, we're gonna start at the castle. So this is what it looks like from the outside. This whole entire castle and the village that I'm about to show you took me around eight, 10 hours. And I built it all yesterday. So this is the outside of the castle. I think it kind of looks like a snowflake, which is pretty cool. Then you got this huge dome on top. See, looks like a snowflake, super cool. And then let's head on the inside. We've got those big blue doors. I have these to bring the villagers right from the inside. So then here we have the entrance. Then if we go down here, we have a little library. Then if we keep going down to this corridor, similar entrance. Then we have where all the beds are. It's like a little dormitory area. Then we have another little entrance. Then we have a small little dining hall. And then here we have an armory. And the armor stands I put down disappeared, but that's okay. <laughs> and then here we just have some more little corridors. Very cute. And then here we have the big grand throne room. It's very, very big, very, very nice. Here's the nice little room here. And then here is the big dome. It's a very nice, big open space. And then we have some little water elevators and some nice little trees. Some nice little roped trees. There's some nice greenery. Here we have a warship, which I built today. Some villagers in the water. If we go here, like some beds. And then here. Here there's like a little storage area. For some crappy And a nice little Control the ship. I don't know why that's there. I don't know. And then right here is the base of the ship. Some nice little chests, furnaces, a little library, some more storage. And then here, you walk out to the front of the ship. It's just a nice little open area. Then here is the village that I built yesterday. So this village and the castle took me around eight hours. So the castle is called Frostfall Castle. And then this village is called Frostvale Village. And I have a nice little well here, some nice cute little lights. And then I built some little houses, some beds and chests for all the little villagers. This part of the world. Then, if we move over here down this cutely lit path, we have the second village, which is called Snowfall Village. And this I built today. So, first we have this cute little house, a nice little dining table, and then a cute little bedroom, and then a little basement area here, which leads the well which I will show and then to another building which I will show and then I'm gonna leave this house that staircase led over to this building which is part of the tavern which I will show through this entrance it's called the Snowfield Tavern and Inn so here we have the little tavern area it's a nice little seating Cute little stage. You go up these stairs, you have a nice little open area to the bottom. Then some little heads on the wall for decor. Some nice little lights and some more tables. And then here, 
That's where the inn is. So here we have a cute little room. Here we have a little room. And here we have another little room. And here. We go back to there. This nice little area. Seriously, I think some Enderman tried taking this house apart. So this little area is over here to this other building. Nice little room, then a nice little storage area. And then we go back to this area. This is like a little house which connects to the tavern, which can be like for its owner or something. We have a nice little dining area. And then a cute little bedroom. And then this goes back to this part of the tavern. So this I built today, and then after this little part of the world, if you go over here around, there's a little camp we built called Snowside Camp. It has some cute little igloos with some cute little beds, and a chest, this little campfire area, another igloo, cute same setup. And then, so I built that today. And then if you go around here, there's a cute little bridge leading to the Woodside Forest, which is over there. And then, so, a nice little bridge, which leads over to the Woodside Manor, which I just built for recording this. Got this cute little gate around it, which my brother showed me how to build. Had a cute little idea, and I think it's quite nice. So this is the outside of the manor. windows, you can see a bunch of the rooms inside, here we have a little chimney, nice little roof, and then enter through here, here we have the nice little open area, here we have a little library, here we have a storage room, here we have the dining hall, it's a very nice big open space with some paintings, and here we have like, the kitchen, here we have a little storage room, Upstairs, we have a nice little carpet and we have some bedrooms. We have this little bedroom, then we have this little storage room. I tried to color code it with the doors. Then this is the master bedroom. Some nice little flowers over there. And then here's another little bedroom. And then up here is to one part of the attic with a bunch of crafting stuff and smoking stuff. And then, bedrooms. Then, if you go up here, there's some more storage, some armor stands. And then, this storage room leads up to the other part of the attic, which has some chests, some armor stands, more chests, more armor stands. So this whole project probably took me, I don't know, maybe around 15 hours to build because I spent around 8, 10 on it yesterday and then a bunch on it today. So I don't know exact, the exact amount of time that I spent building it, but it sure took me a while, but only around two days. So yeah. Manors, two villages, a little campsite, and a giant castle with a battleship. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my little world exploration and yeah hope you all like the video have a good night